So Pascal, I know that you've come all the way from France and really Bordeaux. You could have chosen anywhere in the world to make wine and yet you settled on British Columbia here in Canada. Why is that? When I saw the quality of the grapes and I say, wow, that is fantastic. Three years old vineyard and so many nice grapes. The terroir here is fantastic. Big potential for to create a good wine. Now you mentioned terroir. What does it really mean? A terroir is a, a sort of combination between the soils and we have the soil here, for example, it's very sandy and very nice for this sort of type of Merlot. We have also the weather, very dry here, especially in, the, in this part of the valley. And also, we never forget the slope, the mountain, the location. As we walk here, I can feel we're on a slope. I mean, I'm leaning yes. backwards and I look down and I see almost sand-like soil. Well, what type of soil have we got on, uh, below us here? Here you have a, a sort of sandy soil, but there is some part of the other part of the vineyard is gravel and we have a mix. Uh, each block is different. We have a lot of diversity of soil, a lot of diversity of slope. The complexity of the terroir in the Sosaros you find that complexity in the wine and that is important for us. And the one thing I know about this vineyard is that we have all five Bordeaux varieties planted here. That's Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Malbec, Petit Verdot, and Merlot. Now back at the winery, you're gonna take all these different blocks and all these different grapes and blend them together to make one super fantastic wine, if you will. Exactly, yes. Sounds great. This beautiful barrel room looking at what I can only assume is a Soyuz La Rose, Le Grand Vin. Tell us a little bit about when the grapes come in from that vineyard, what happens here at the winery? What's happening here is first we have to we separate each block and we try to put uh, one block in one tank and we're going to keep separate each lot like that during all the life of the wine here in this cellar. So all the way from the moment that the grapes arrive at the winery till the time they go in the bottle, they never co-mingle with each other? No, never. Just uh, before the bottling, the bottling, I say uh, around three months before, we blend. When the, the, the decision of the blend is done, we blend all the lot together. So a question that I get asked is, what is the difference between a bottle of wine that has this varietal written on it, such as Cabernet Sauvignon, and then a bottle of wine that maybe just has a name, and we know that that wine is a blend. Yes. How can you tell if one is better than the rest? When you have just one varietal, it's very good, but us, we want to put something else and to add something else. It's like when you cook, you put, for example, a meat, but you put a, a spice, a salt, to complex the system. Exact, exactly the same like the perfume. A perfume, for example, there is a rose, but all around the roses, we add other perfume uh, flavor to increase the, the perfume, the, the, the volume, the complexity. We do that exactly with our social the same way. Beautiful. Well, let's give yes. it a try and see if we yes. can taste all those things that you just yes. mentioned. you know, that front palette with possibly the Cabernet that hits you first, and then that jammy, plummy Merlot. And you feel a lot of layers and different layers and the elegancy and the complexity. You're tasting many different things, but they all come together to create this wonderful flavor and complex uh, level on your palate of silkiness and elegance and fruit and tannin and alcohol all together. You should be very proud of yourself, Pascal. Cheers. Thank you.